Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is help educate you about productivity tools and resources to help you move forward with your productivity. So what I'll be doing in this session is actually showing you a few of my favorite uh, Chrome extensions that help me kind of be a bit more efficient throughout my day in uh, accessing all of the stuff I need to access or assisting me in any activities that I struggle with. So let's start off with one that a lot of people know that I use quite heavily um, and something that I'm always impressed by whenever they release a specific app for an, a, a uh, whether it's Chrome or you know whether it's Windows, they do a really good job of it. So up here, this is the Todoist Chrome extension. And it's a really fantastic tool because it almost distills a Todoist experience that if you don't want to be opening up the Todoist tab all the time and keeping to check, you know, I use the Todoist Chromebook extension up here and the Todoist tab also as well. But if I'm in that mood where I'm like, keep away from Todoist because I want to focus on the task specifically, which is 90% of the time, you can access almost a baby version of Todoist, very similar to their Gmail application from here. And you can actually go into detail. So you can actually go actually into all of the files and you can do all the normal stuff, you know, add all of the tasks. But what I like especially is, let's say I'm on a really favorite website or something that I've discovered, like an article um, or anything like that, what I can do is I can actually press the Add Website as Task feature. And I tend to just dump them in an inbox, which is the top feature, and just give them a specific priority. So this is a really great way to kind of coordinate all of those uh, to-doist tasks that you've got across your day and when you don't want to go into to-doist. Another, the second application I want to mention is Grammarly. And uh, for those who don't know, I am a avid user of Grammarly. I've got a premium account, but only because uh, they set me up with one, which was really, really handy. Um, and I'm so what Grammarly does is it basically, so number two is Grammarly. And Grammarly is an application that basically scans all of your text while you're writing in different websites. And it gives you some feedback on how to improve all of your um, usage of words and phrases and characters and sentences. And what I tend to do is I tend to either create new documents in here or I tend to actually just write stuff down, you know, whether it's an article on WordPress or, or anything like that. And it basically tracks all of that and gives me suggestions as well because I'm awful with grammar. And this has actually dramatically improved that a lot. And obviously, there are great applications out there for, uh, and there's some really great native ones too, but let's say if you're wanting to actually um, say, hello, or hey, my name is uh, Francesco. Uh, what it's doing is it's actually rating it down here and it actually brings up critical issues. Once you click into this, it gives you suggestions. Um, actually, I wanna say my name is, uh, and it always analyzes it, which is really nice. Uh, gives you suggestions on whether you're using passive words and, and improvements like that. So I really like the way you use it. Um, it's free. Uh, there's a premium, but I'm, I wouldn't recommend it heavily. It always analyzes words and gives you really useful feedback. Feedback that can really improve uh, a period of your text. The next feature uh, Chrome extension that I want to mention is Rescue Time. And I use this very subtly across my day because uh, I want to kind of be able to track all of my productivity time. Um, and basically what it does is it gives you the ability to see all of the time you spend on the computer per day. Um, and then it gives you the ability to uh, see your productivity score. And obviously uh, there's, there's abilities to change just because it, like I use Twitter a lot and Facebook a lot for work. So uh, it gives me a very unproductive score, but you have the ability to track that. But what's nice and what I really gain value from is the weekly email they give you. And the weekly email summarizes how much time you spent on the computer, how much how much time was it spent in utilities or or on social media or uh, it doing work or you know, etc. So it's a really good way of holding yourself accountable every week, especially if you want to kind of break break down your kind of usage every day. The next the next application that uh, I want to mention uh, for Google uh, Chrome is a really great one. And before I started uh, actually doing these videos, I was struggling to find a solution to actually track all of the, the videos and actually, you know, screencast. And I found Screencastify, uh, which is a screen video recorder, and it was free. And I thought this was great uh, because I can now uh, actually have the ability to 
record on a Chromebook, which is tough. Um, but I actually found some really great access in this. This is a really, I mean, even if you're using Windows, actually a really strong way to coordinate all of those screen recordings. So I use this on a Chromebook. It works smoothly. It gives me a break. It gives me a download of the video. It gives me the ability to edit it. It gives me the ability to watch it. I mean, I don't edit it there, but it also gives the ability to add um, and change the microphone and also point the camera towards me, which is quite nice as well. Uh, also gives you really nice uh, pausing and stopping functionality, which does help when you're making a long video. And as you can see, down in the bottom right-hand corner, it also notifies you uh, as well. So it's really well plugged into Google Chrome, and especially on the Chromebook, as you can imagine. The final one I do want to mention, and it's something that I haven't really mentioned a lot, it's the StyleBot. And this was actually recommended to me by a couple of people on Twitter as well. Um, I think Kyle actually built a StyleBot Trello extension, uh, which I can include in the description or in one of those card things that pop up. And basically, StyleBot allows you to, um, it's a Chrome extension. So for example, let's say I'm on Todoist and uh, as you can see, it's gone green because it's realized that I have actually already edited this page. So if I open up StyleBot, it basically scans a page and allows you to add or edit elements in this. And what I've done with this page is I've actually changed on this side, the family font, so it's a different font, the thickness of the uh, projects as well. Uh, and you can change everything about it. You can, so for example, this one, Roboto, I've just changed that to Roboto and uh, and nothing else. So it kind of gives the ability to edit your experience. Obviously, I'm a big web user for Todoist and all the other act applications. And I did this with Trello too. So it's a great way for you to kind of edit. Uh, and it doesn't require too much uh, feature, you know, <laughs> knowledge about having to edit features. So it's a great way to style your CSS, um, which is uh, really fun. And it helps you learn about how websites are kind of coordinated. So anyway, guys, that's literally the, the, the five applications I want to show you maybe this month. Maybe I'll add some more in next month. I think there's some great other applications out there. Um, extension, sorry, for Google Chrome. And I think there's so much more for things like Firefox uh, and the other Safari and things like that. So anyway, guys, that's the video for today. Uh, I'm really looking forward to sharing a few more videos with you soon, sharing some Really great stuff in the Evernote, Trello, and to do a sector too. So as per normal, I'll see you guys very soon. Make sure to have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you guys very soon. I said that twice. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.